and good morning. Welcome to Wayne County Now. It is Saturday, May 25th, 2024. I'm Dustin Fuller reporting. A reminder, these and other stories are available by visiting us at our website, mywaynecountynow.com. Fairfield City Police say they were on the scene of traffic control in the area of Northeast 7th and Main Streets late last night and through early this morning as a utility pole was struck by lightning. Officers say the lines were down in the area of East Main at Northeast 7th. Officers say that the lines have been down since last night around 10.45 p.m. Lines belong to Frontier Communications. The internet company has advised the department that they have a crew on the way to the scene. Police say to use caution in the area, and it is affecting just eastbound traffic as westbound traffic is flowing normally. The National Weather Service Storm Prediction Center is continuing to show an enhanced risk of severe weather for Sunday for our area. In their morning update at 1.30 a.m., the SPC shows the entire area under the risk of enhanced for severe weather with all hazards on the table, including large hail, damaging winds and tornadoes. Weather officials also say that torrential rains may accompany these storms and lead to flash flooding. In information that was put out on Friday by the National Weather Service of Paducah, they say that this area has an even greater risk for damaging weather. National Weather Service officials say that the main timing for our area is late Sunday afternoon through late Sunday night. Keep tuned to Wayne County now for the latest in severe weather information. U.S. Marshals, as well as Illinois State Police and Wayne County Sheriff's deputies, were conducting an operation leading to the arrest of an individual. Details have not been released at this time, but the operation just after 8 a.m. was reported to be successful by law enforcement. Wayne County now is working to get more information as quickly as possible out. We've reached out to the Wayne County Sheriff's Office in the Wayne County Jail, but have not received a response at this time. According to an unidentified deputy, more information will be released next week. Wayne County Highway officials have announced a pair of road closures for next week involving County Highway 7 in and around the Jeff area. On Tuesday, County Highway 7 east of Jeff between U.S. 45 and Illinois or County Road 1700 East will be closed from 7 a.m. until 12 noon for shoulder and ditch work. Meanwhile, on Wednesday the 29th, that same road will be closed west of U.S. 45 to County Road 1400 East for shoulder and ditch work. Officials ask that you seek an alternative route during the upcoming road work. A Fairfield man pled guilty in Wayne County Court on lawful possession of drug paraphernalia on Tuesday. 57-year-old Troy M. McGehey pled guilty and made a deal with prosecution as part of that plea. He'll be serving 18 months probation, performing 30 hours of community service, and paying court costs of $2,895. A count of possession of methamphetamine less than 5 grams was dismissed. An infield woman pled guilty to unlawful possession of methamphetamine on Thursday in a case that dates back to 2021. 39-year-old Amanda N. Mangrum, as part of a plea, will serve two years of probation and pay court costs of $4,577. Fairfield City Council will hold their second session of the month at 6 p.m. Tuesday at Fairfield City Hall. Prior to that meeting, a public hearing will be held at 5.50 p.m. on the sale of municipally owned real estate. On the agenda, the board will look to authorize that sale of real property owned by the city, look to authorize raises for part-time airport employees, and pass an ordinance to place a right-turn-only sign at Southwest 3rd and Delaware. Finally, the board will work with the Fairfield Public School District to employ a school resource officer. In 2023, R&J Tactical Laser Tag opened their location on the west side of Fairfield. Their business offered up laser tag, and an arcade for the community. Officials with the business say they'll be closing their Fairfield location as of June 2nd. Below is a statement released by the business. Quote, We want to start off by thanking Fairfield and the surrounding communities for supporting RNJ Tactical Laser Tag Fairfield the last year and a half. We have decided to close the location permanently effective January or July or June 3rd, excuse me. As a small business, sometimes you have to make some tough decisions. This is not a decision that we made lightly. We are so thankful 
for all the support and new customers we have met. Our motto for the last nine years has been affordable family fun. Between cost of living and inflation, times are tough for all. If you've purchased gift cards or have radio certificates, you can use them at the other locations as well. As r &J Tactical Laser Tag has locations at Times Square Mall in Mount Vernon and their outdoor location at Woodlawn. The Fairfield location shows that though we open through June 2nd, today they are open 1 until 8 p.m., tomorrow noon to 5. On the 31st, they'll be open 3 until 8 p.m., June 1st, 1 to 8 p.m., and on June 2nd from 12 until 5 p.m. RJ Tactical Laser Tag Mount Vernon and RJ Tactical Laser Tag Woodline will continue to be open. This is Wayne County Now. We'll take a look at the weather here in just a moment. When you need concrete or masonry work, New Gen Concrete is your go-to in Wayne County and the surrounding area. They can help you finish that concrete project with anything from flat work, stairs and stem walls, to decorative stamping and masonry resurfacing. New Gen Concrete, set in stone on Williamson Drive in Fairfield. Call 618-516-5002 or email them at LLC at yahoo.com to get on the schedule today. When Justin, a local volunteer firefighter, needs one of the department's trucks serviced, he calls CAM, whose repair company keeps everything rolling. In turn, Justin helps keep CAM and all of the community safe. Together, they support each other. And Wayne White Electric Cooperative supports them and every member with safe and reliable power. It's why REMCs exist. And together, it all works. No time to run to the bank? No problem. People's National Bank makes banking easy and convenient with PMB to go mobile banking. PMB to go allows you to deposit checks, pay bills, transfer money between accounts, view your statements, turn your debit card off and on, and much more, all on your smartphone. It truly is banking at your fingertips with PMB to go mobile banking. People's National Bank, member FDIC. Dive into summer with the latest styles at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. From top to bottom, Carnaby Square has everything you need to embrace the season in style with brands like Charlie B, Multiples, Jess and Jane, Lucky Bird, and Tribal in sizes from small to extra extra large. Plus, Carnaby Square carries the largest selection of Brighton purses, jewelry, and accessories around. Carnaby Square, the fashion leader in Southern Illinois, located at 115 East Main Street in Fairfield, making you look great since 1980. Welcome back to Wayne County Now. It is Saturday edition, and let's take a look at the weather for today. It's going to be a beautiful day today. In fact, uh, really nice out there. For our area, we are just maybe under a general thunderstorm risk, but to the west in the Nebraska, Oklahoma, western Missouri area, they are under a moderate risk of severe weather in that area portions they're also enhanced and slight risk as well but day three which we were showing earlier or day two excuse me day two has the enhanced risk for our area looking at day three that risk moves over to slight for the eastern seaboard pretty much but our area clear of thunderstorms in days four through eight Right now, no severe weather information out on the four to eight day severe weather outlook. As once again, showers, thunderstorms will be in our area from Sunday in the afternoon to Sunday in the evening. Maybe a chance of a stray shower or storm early Sunday morning, but if anything does pop, we will let you know about it. Taking a look at your weather forecast for this Saturday, partly sunny skies, becoming sunny, high of 82. Beautiful day outside today. Increasing clouds tonight, the low 65. Showers, possibly a thunderstorm early Sunday, high of 86. Sunday evening, showers, thunderstorms likely. Some could be strong, severe, the low 65. For Memorial Day, it's going to cool off a little bit. Mostly sunny, 77 year high. On Monday evening, clear skies, low of 58. And Tuesday, sunshine. 
high of 79. Wednesday, sunshine, high of 78. Back to 80 on Thursday and sunshine and Friday. Showers return to the forecast, a slight chance. Mostly sunny with a high of 81. By the way, lows Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Monday night as well. Upper 50s. So it's going to be, it's going to feel like spring the next few days, to say the least. This is Wayne County Now. We'll take a look at area obituaries presented by your friends at Everlasting Florals, as well as our friends at the Johnson & Vaughn Funeral Home. If you're looking for supplies for memorial decorations or a memorial piece, look no further than Everlasting Florals, formerly Leg Manufacturing, at 900 West Delaware in Fairfield. Owners Chad and Melissa Musgrave offer a full line of wholesale and retail floral supplies, silk flowers for every season, and even manufacture a variety of items in-house, from wire and aluminum saddles to cemetery can holders, shepherd's hooks, and flag holders. Everlasting florals, making the world more colorful, one stem at a time. And welcome back to Wayne County Now. Time for a look at obituaries. Presented by Johnson Devon Funeral Home and by Everlasting Florals. A reminder, these and other obituaries are available by visiting our website, mywaynecountynow.com. 83-year-old Kenneth Ray McGill of Fairfield passed away 2.50 p.m. on Wednesday, May 22nd at Ascension St. Vincent Hospital in Evansville. He worked for Moreland Distribution for his brother-in-law, Harry Moreland, distributing milk throughout the area. Kenneth was born in Fairfield on March 17th of 1941 to the Reverend Ralph and Tressie Camfield McGill. Kenneth is survived by daughter Roxana and husband Rennie Crow of Mount Carmel, sons Ray and wife Lisa McGill of Mount Vernon, Walter and wife Karen McGill of Topeka, Kansas, Eugene Tubby McGill of Fairfield, and Henry Dixie McGill of Fairfield. 18 grandchildren, 17 great-grandchildren, sisters Geraldine Johnston of Fairfield, Luis Moreland of Fairfield, Ellen Moreland of Effingham, Roberta, and husband Ron Mills of Fairfield, and Anita Harrison of Fairfield. Brothers Eugene McGill of Katy, Texas, and Gary McGill of Fairfield, plus several nieces and nephews also survive. Kenneth was preceding the death by his parents, his wife Maudie McGill, sister Maxine Barbary, and brother James McGill. Funeral services will be at 1 p.m. Wednesday at the Holiness Rescue Mission in Fairfield with burial in Buckeye Cemetery. Visitation will be from 11 a.m. until service time at the Holiness Rescue Mission. In lieu of flowers, memorials may be made to help with funeral expenses and will be accepted at Johnson & Vaughn Funeral Home and at the service. Teresa Ann Kaiser passed away on Wednesday, May 22nd, surrounded by family after a hard-fought battle with liver cancer. Teresa was born February 16th of 1957 in Wayne County and married Sam Kaiser on December 18th of 1976. Teresa's immediate survivors include her husband Sam, daughter Heidi and husband Jamie Hodges, son Ryan and wife Michelle Kaiser, and four grandchildren, Hayden and Hillary, as well as as Harv and Ryan. She also leaves behind her mother, mother-in-law, brothers, brothers-in-law, sisters-in-law, and several nieces and nephews, plus many friends who knew her best as Nana. Teresa will be cremated. The visitation will be held Tuesday from 4 until 7 at the Johnson Devon Funeral Home in Fairfield. A funeral service will be held at 10 a.m. Wednesday, May 29th, at Johnson Devon Funeral Home followed immediately by a lunch and celebration of life at the home of Ryan and Michelle Kaiser. In lieu of flowers, the family asks that you donate to Cancer Care Specialists of Illinois for their Fairfield Clinic. Donations will be accepted at the Johnson Devon Funeral Home in Fairfield. 81-year-old Dolly Jean Thomason passed away at 1.15 a.m. on Tuesday, May 7th at Meadowbrook Skilled Nursing and Rehabilitation in Grayville. She was born in Detroit, Michigan on June 17th of 1942 to Charles Jurd and Catherine Kate Klobuchar. Butler, she was also a member of Northside Baptist Church in Fairfield. Dolly worked for several years at the Fairfield Sewing Company and Factory and later at Airtex where she retired. Dolly survived by his son, Kent, 
and wife Lisa Thomas of Fairfield, daughter Robin, and husband Jesse Thornton of Marion, Kentucky. Four grandchildren, Shaylee Thomason of St. Louis, Carver Thomason of Fairfield, Tara Beck of Fairfield, and Shelby West of Albion. Two great-grandchildren, Keegan Smith of Fairfield and Vivian West of Albion. Two sisters, Betty and husband Jim Beeson of Jeff and Frances Musgrave of Grayville. Dolly was preceding the death by her parents, a son, Brent Thomason, brother, Bobby Butler, half-sister, Pat Astenborski, and half-brother, Charles Bud Butler. Per Dolly's wishes, her body was cremated and a gravesite service will be held next Friday, May 31st at 2 p.m. at Maple Hill Cemetery. Friends and family are asked to go directly to the cemetery. Johnson Devon Funeral Home of Fairfield is assisting the family with arrangements. Marjorie Louise Bassett Wood, 90, passed away peacefully on May 16th at Wabash Senior Living and Rehabilitation Center in Carmine. She was born to Lyman and Caroline Staple Bassett in Albion on June 9th of 1933. Marjorie married Edward Ted Wood on April 27th of 1956 and worked for the Edwards County School System and retired from there. Upon retirement, she enjoyed volunteering for many organizations, including the Red Cross for their blood drives and being a pink lady at Fairfield Memorial Hospital. She also enjoyed singing, quilting, and traveling with many local groups. Marjorie was a member of the Fairfield Church of Christ at the time of her death. She survived by a daughter, Cheryl, and husband, Lonnie Dunn of Fairfield, daughter-in-law, Lisa Wood of Lincoln, Illinois, grandchildren, Micah and wife, Regina Dunn, Mary Wood, Julie, and husband Chris Asseltine, Allison Wood, Lauren Franklin, and Gracie Wood. Great-grandchildren Austin Dunn, Jacob Weeks, Abigail Franklin, Emily and Corrine Asseltine, as well as Thomas and Michael McCauley, a brother Steve and wife Linda Bassett of Florida, a sister-in-law Sandra Seitz Bassett of Colorado. Marjorie was also preceded in death by her parents, husband Ted, a son Robert Lee Wood, a great-granddaughter, Ava Weeks, and a brother, Ed Bassett, as well as a sister, Rob Lee Kent. Funeral services will be held at 11 a.m. today for Marjorie Wood. That will be at the Johnson Devon Funeral Home in Fairfield. Interment will follow in Graceland Cemetery in Albion. Visitation will be from 9 a.m. until service time. Jody Davis, the preacher at Fairfield Church of Christ, will be officiating the service. In lieu of flowers, donations may be made in Marjorie's honor to the Wabash Senior Living and Rehabilitation Activities Department or Hospice of Southern Illinois. They'll be accepted at Johnson and Vaughn Funeral Home. Full obituaries including survivors at MyWayneCountyNow.com. Taking a quick look, by the way, at the community calendar. It's presented by Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield, Southern Illinois' fashion leader. Memorial Day services are coming up Monday, 11 a.m. at Fairfield's Ma uh, Maple Hill Cemetery for Fairfield service. Wayne City service will be at 2 p.m. at Thomason Cemetery. We have information with both with stories at MyWayneCountyNow.com. Public is invited to attend both ceremonies. Fairfield City Fire Department and Marshall are putting together a pork burger and pork chop sandwich sale at the F&B parking lot. On Saturday, June 1st, from 11 a.m. until they're out of pork burgers and pork chops. All proceeds will go towards the recently purchased Children's Fire Safety House for repairs. The Safety House will be brought to the area for schools to help teach children on what to do if a fire is to ever occur in their home. You're invited to bring your family as well on the 1st and let the kids take a tour through the Safety House and get pictures taken with Marshall and a fire truck. If you have a community calendar note, we invite you to send it over to us, news at MyWayneCountyNow.com. You can fill out the community calendar submission form as well at MyWayneCountyNow.com or send us a message through Facebook. This is Wayne County Now. By the way, before we go to break, we do want to wish a special birthday to Jared Vaughn over at, at Johnson Vaughn Funeral Home. He's kind of a birthday twinsy with me as we're both celebrating birthdays today. We will be back in just a moment. The loss of a loved one can leave you with a lot of unanswered questions, feelings of stress and anxiety, and grief. The experienced funeral directors at Johnson & Vaughn Funeral Home in Fairfield can help guide you through all aspects of the funeral process to provide you with a beautiful, lasting tribute to your loved one. Call them at 618-842-6006. 
The Johnson and Vaughn Fubra Home, 106 Northeast 4th Street in Fairfield, serving the Wayne County area with compassion, dignity, and respect. Whatever your project might be, Gibbs Excavating and Land Management LLC has the right tool and the expertise to get the job done right. The crew at Gibbs Excavating and Land Management can handle any job from stump grinding or forestry mulching, driveway repair, concrete demo and rock work to dirt and auger work, trenching, and even garden tilling. Call 618-516-1462 or email Austin at austingibbs70 at yahoo.com to schedule your free estimate today. Dive into summer with the latest styles at Carnaby Square in downtown Fairfield. From top to bottom, Carnaby Square has everything you need to embrace the season in style with brands like Charlie B, Multiples, Jess and Jane, Lucky Bird, and Tribal in sizes from small to extra, extra large. Plus, Carnaby Square carries the largest selection of Brighton purses, jewelry, and accessories around. Carnaby Square, the fashion leader in Southern Illinois, located at 115 East Main Street in Fairfield, making you look great since 1980. Our Wayne County Now Salute, presented by FNB Community Bank this week, is Remington Wheeler, a specialist in the U.S. Army. Remington is a specialist in the U.S. Army who is currently stationed in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He's a 2022 graduate of Fairfield Community High School. After graduation, he completed his basic training and AIT training at Fort Sill as a 14P, which is a Air and Missile Defense crew member. Remington is the son of Crystal Leg Wheeler of Fairfield. If you have an active military member that you want to see get saluted from Wayne County now at FNB Community Bank, email Dustin.Fuller at MyWayneCountyNow.com with a photo and a bit of a background info, and we will be more than happy to give a Wayne County salute. Presented by FNB Community Bank. When describing traditional products like checking or savings accounts, many banks use the word personal banking. At FNB Community Bank, they focus on the personal side of that term. How? By always applying personal attention, by always delivering with personal care, and by treating you like a person, not an account. FNB Community Bank. Banking. Business. Life. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Wayne County now continues. Taking a look now at sports, Trent Bliss continues his attempt at taking home state in the long jump at the IHSA Boys Track State Finals taking place this afternoon up at Charleston. Best of luck, Trent, as he's, as he's the only mule remaining in contention for a state title. He's, as mentioned, going in for long jump. Time now to take a look at the sports scene. We're going to start off with Major League Baseball. From your Friday, Detroit over Toronto 6-2. Pittsburgh over Atlanta 11-5. Washington over Seattle 6-1. Kansas City downs Tampa Bay 8-1. Cincinnati over the LA Dodgers 9-6. San Francisco over the New York Mets 8-7. Minnesota over Texas 3-2. Milwaukee over Boston 7-2. It was Boston or Baltimore over the Chicago White Sox 6-4. Colorado over Philadelphia 3-2. Cleveland downs the LA Angels 10-4. Houston over Oakland 6-3. Miami over Arizona 3-0. New York over San Diego 8-0. And the Cubs and Cardinals were postponed last night. That game will be made up in July. In action in Major League Baseball this afternoon at 12-10, it is Toronto at Detroit. At 12.40, it's San Francisco at the New York Mets. Texas is at Minnesota at 1.10. Also at 1.10, Baltimore at the Chicago White Sox. At 3.05, it's Seattle at Washington. Atlanta is at Pittsburgh. At 3.07, it's Houston at Oakland. At 3.10, Kansas City at Tampa Bay. Milwaukee's at Boston. At 6.15 this evening, the LA Dodgers are at Cincinnati to take on the Reds. The Cubs are battling the Cardinals this evening. You catch that Cubs Cards game, weather permitting, on 105.9 FM WOKZ, beginning around 6.15 for first pitch. At 8.10 this evening, Philadelphia is at Colorado. 8.30, Cleveland at the LA Angels. New York Yankees are at San Diego at 8.40 p.m. And at 9.10 p.m., Miami visits the desert to take on Arizona. 
in the NBA playoffs action that took place on Friday night. Saw Dallas take a 2-0 lead in the Western Conference Finals. They knocked off Minnesota 109-108 at Target Center. Again, Dallas 2-0 lead in that series. Game 3 in the Eastern Conference Finals tonight at Gamebridge Fieldhouse, Boston at Indiana. Indiana remains undefeated at the Fieldhouse for their postseason action. It is a 7.30 Central Time start this evening at Gamebridge Fieldhouse. Boston a 2-0 lead in that series. In the WNBA action that took place on Friday night, saw the Indiana Fever get their first win with Caitlin Clark, a 78-73 win over the LA Sparks at Crypto.com Arena. At 12 noon today, New York Liberty are at Minnesota. Connecticut is at Chicago at 7 this evening. And the Indiana Fever face the Las Vegas Aces. Fever 1-5, and 2-1 and one are the Las Vegas Aces. And that's where Jackie Young of Princeton plays, by the way. At 8 this evening as well, Washington is at Seattle. At 9 tonight, Dallas is at Phoenix. Taking a look at the NHL playoffs. And NHL playoff action in the Stanley Cup playoffs from last night. It was New York Rangers over Florida 2-1. to one. That series now tied at 1. Edmonton and Dallas with the Western Conference Stanley Cup final continues tonight. Edmonton a 1-0 series lead in that one. That is a 7 o'clock pup drop down in Dallas. That's been a look at news, weather, and sports for your Saturday. I'm Dustin Fuller on Wayne County Now. Hopefully you have a good rest of your Saturday. For the latest in local news, weather, and sports, check out mywaynecountynow.com. Have a great Saturday. We'll talk to you tomorrow.